In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your entire check-in experience. There's three main things you'll need to set up to have a great check-in experience. The first is your groups or classes. Your second is your event track or the repeating event that you'll be using. And then finally, you'll set up your check-in station. Let's begin by setting up our groups. To do this, we'll navigate to People and we'll click on Overview. Then we'll select Groups and Teams. If we'd like to create a specific type of group called classes, just for organization's sake, we can click this down arrow and you could click define a new type of group slash team. You could type in class or classes there. And then you could save it. This will give you a new type of group that'll help you just organize. All of our groups, teams, contact lists, they all function exactly the same. By defining a new type, it just helps you organize them. I'm going to click new group and team, and then I'm going to choose classes because that's what I'm using to organize all of my classes for check-in. Here, I can now enter in the specific classes information. I'm going to call this one third grade. If I need to add positions or add members, I can do that by clicking into here. The most important setting though is this box here in the members page, I want to make sure to click allow provisional membership. What this does is it allows people to check in and out of the group without having to be approved by a leader. So again, to do that, you'll click on members and then check the box for allow provisional membership. This is a very important step when you're setting up your check-in stations. I'm then going to click save. And now my group is set up. Next, I need to set up my event track. I'm going to do that by going to events. And again, I'm going to click on overview. And here I can view all of my events, event types if I need to, but I want to create a new event track. So I'm going to click on event tracks. And I'm going to click new event track. And I've already got these types created just like I created my group types. And so I'm going to choose Sunday school. And then I'm just going to call this one another test for video. Obviously, you can name it anything you'd like. Event defaults, I can set all of these up here. An important setting for your check-in is when does that check-in open? And so right now it's set to 90 minutes before and it'll close 90 minutes after. You won't be able to check in or view this event for check-in outside of that time frame. So that's important if you're setting up uh, your check-in stations for the first time and you're needing to set up a test event, you can do that um, by creating an event for that day. So if you're testing on Wednesday, you won't be able to check in to Sunday. So make sure you create yourself a test event so that you can check everything out and make sure it's all working. The final most important step here is the auto-create. So if I want this to repeat, I need to turn auto-create on and I can choose the number of future events. So how many events in the future I want it to create? When do I want it to start? And how uh, often do I want it to repeat? And so I'm actually gonna have this repeat every day just so it's easier for me to demonstrate with, but you can set it up to any interval you want. And then I'm also gonna go back and change the time. So I'm gonna change this to 11 p.m. my time. or AM, excuse me. Then I'm going to click Save. And now that event track has been created. If I want to view all those events, I can click View Events right here. Next, what I need to do is make sure that my check-in station is configured how I want it to be configured. So what I'll do is I'll click on Check-ins, and then I'll choose Stations. Every church management account comes with one check-in station already created. If we want to create a new one, we're going to click New Check-in Station. We'll give it a name. I'm going to just call this my second. And then I'm going to want to make sure that this is a unique address. I've always got to make sure to leave .fluoro.site at the end for it to function correctly but I can change it to be whatever I want it to be there. I also have all of these other options that I can set up 
Do I want to require an access PIN number? Do I want to add a registration form? I do, so I'm going to use one that's already created for me. And you'll find this in your church management dashboard as well. It'll be your registration form. So I'm going to select that and click Done. Now that registration form is attached to my check-in station, and if I have visitors or someone at my church, they can fill it out and get added to my database. You'll also have these additional options to enable name tag printing, uh, how you want that printing to work, to use a PIN number for checkout, and to disable the roll call view. The roll call view is a view that I'll demonstrate in a moment that lets you see who is checked in and other important information. The most important step though, is I need to give this check-in station permissions so they can view contacts and check them out and in to different events. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to click to select roles and there is a pre-built permission set already in here for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to subsplash one, check-in station. Then I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna make sure to click add and then I'm gonna click save. And now my second check-in station is set up. So let's check out our check-in station. We'll click on view in browser and you'll be presented with any of the open events. So I'm gonna choose one of these events and this is the event I'll be checking people into. I can search for a name, select them. If I needed to add a person, during the registration process, I could do that. I could add another adult or child. Then I'll click check in. I can change the groups the person is going to. And I can click continue. I could set the emergency contact number in case we need to send a text message. Then I can click continue and the person is checked in. I can view their information in the roll call view, which is up here in the top right hand corner. If I click on that, I can see everybody who's checked in. I can see the groups they're checked into. I can send a message. I can send a reminder of their PIN number if they needed that, or in any kind of special circumstances, if I need to check them out as a leader, I can do that. To select the printer, I would click up here in the left-hand corner and select the name tag printer that I want to send these check-in labels to. And that's how you set up your check-in stations.